Hello everyone, we are going to take a close look at the composition of the African market. This is a painting done on the tradition cloth, the bark cloth, which was discovered 600 years ago by our great grand ancestors. Around here we have the lady carrying a pot on her head. Usually we use this African pot for carrying or fetching water and also keeping the local beer, the traditional beer, in that big pot safe. When we get close, there's a gentleman carrying the plantain, the green banana. He is trying to make sure that he heads this green banana to the common market. And then this shows how we build our African houses. We build them in a conical shape with grass. And uh, that is exactly an African way of building African houses. Around here we have the three gentlemen enjoying their leisure and we call that spending time constructively. As other people in the market are busy with their daily work, you find that in the market we always have uh, these people who enjoy their moment alone and they drink the local beer from a shared pot with three different straws. Uh, on top of the painting, there is an elephant. This was an impression to show uh, the, the, the viewer that in Africa, and in Africa, animals are commonly seen, and uh, at a given occasion, because we have markets next to the forests, they sometimes come uh, to check on us, which means we are still friends with the animals in Africa. And uh, on top here. At the bottom we have the tradition where in Baganda region a man decently dressed or that is planning to meet the in-laws or is to, if he's to attend a big ceremony he must dress like this gentleman. There's a white cloth which was brought here by the Arabs uh, that's in 1844 and then the western style jacket which we call the coat. The combination of those two makes up a decently dressed gentleman in the Baganda culture. Around here we have the lady dressed in what we call the Gomez. That's the tradition wear for ladies in Buganda and even other regions of Uganda. Uh, the combination of these two is what we call a decently dressed couple of friends that are fit to visit in-laws, friends in the tradition wear. Then uh, around here we have the two ladies trying to uh, unfold what we call a lesu in my language. Lesu, which means a kanga or a wrapper. Ladies always go in the market to buy themselves affordable wrappers. Generally, that's what we may call the African market. And the whole composition is telling the story of our African markets. Thank you.